It was a beautiful morning in the ocean. The sun was shining and all the colorful fish were hanging around. This particular day, all conversations were toward this trading topic called climate change and how the temperature was rising and how they all were in risk. But without the doubt, the saddest topic this morning was about Ovelia, the vaquita, and her family, who were maybe the last vaquitas in that neighborhood. In one little zone in Mexico's Gulf of California lives the world's most rare marine mammal, the vaquita. Nowadays, it's on the edge of extinction. There are several causes, but the two main reasons are because they get trapped in gill nets that were set for other fish, and also due to legal trade of the Tuava swim bladders with China, where vaquitas are caught and killed by accident while they try to fish the Tuavas. Hi, my name is Stephanie Michelle, and I'm from Mexico, and this is a story how art and storytell became a motto that promoted how to care about our ocean's biodiversity. So my mom and I knew about the decreasement of this beautiful animal. And in 2015, she made this story tale about this animal and she wanted to make a project with that and me to illustrate it. I was studying my last year in my engineering, environmental technologies, and I had a lot of homework. But anyways, I made time during my vacation and I illustrated. Later, an organization helped us to print the story tale to give it away to children, so we were planning to go to several schools to give away the book. Then we heard the sad news that there were maybe less than 30 vaquitas. The news made me feel so sad and powerless, so I decided I should not only give the books but also talk to the kids about the vaquita. Kids' response to my conferences were so amazing. In one occasion, one kid's opinion was, if my dad was a fisherman, I would tell him not to fish totuabas or vaquitas, because as you said, money is less valuable than a species. That kind of words made us work harder and took us to Colombia, where a publishing house wanted to print the story tale. There, we also had the chance to talk about the vaquita to Colombian kids. Later, we coordinated with the government's environmental department of Puerto Peñasco, where the vaquita lives, and we sent them some books to be given away over there. We have also given away the books in hospitals and special events. When I look back and I remember myself thinking, how could I help this animal live so far away from me? And it's amazing how Storytale have reached other countries and even the place where the vaquita lives nearby. I hope the book reaches kids whose parents can do something to save the vaquitas by getting touched by their children's heart. Papá, ¿tú no matas vaquitas ni totabas, verdad?